Okay guys, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of a rant. There's going to be other videos up today and later on in the week, so don't worry about this being the only video for today. But I did start my classes, by the way, so the uploads and the streams will have to slow down because I do have a lot of homework on my hands now. So just letting y'all know about that, I'll do a whole nother video on the new schedule and everything once I go throughout school and understand exactly when I'll be able to upload permanently and stuff like that. But today we're here to talk about how I feel about step-up banners, and especially not just step-up banners altogether, but more along the lines of step up banner being for the anniversary now i did go over this on twitter and a lot of y'all some of y'all agreed up with me and some of y'all disagreed with me dark skin that's number you number one i'll just want to mention this guys me and dark skin we have no beef if you just saw that it was just us stating our opinions okay i just want to get that out the way i just dropped something out of my wallet okay i have no clue it just fell out my wallet but who cares moving on but yeah, we're going to be going over some of the good things about the Step Up Banner being for the anniversary and then it's some of the, not some, but most of the bad things that I feel like are bad for the Step Up Banner for it being the anniversary itself. Not Step Up Banners altogether, but for it being the anniversary itself. Now I am going to relate two other games um, with their anniversaries to this anniversary and I understand that they're two different games. One is made by a totally different company, but I'm just saying overall, that's how I'm going to compare and show you the difference between those anniversaries and how much more hyped they were compared to this one okay so first off like i said we're gonna be going over some of the good things but before we get into that i just wanted to let y'all know this um make sure you watch the whole video unless you already dislike and left a little bitch comment down below just um watch the whole video before you decide to hate on me and leave dislikes and stuff like that they don't really bother me i'm just saying you should watch the whole video so you can hear my whole entire opinion but i do remember that this is youtube and y'all probably don't give a fuck okay so some of the good things for overall not just good in my view but good in the view of the community because I do have to put those views out there for the video to be unbiased so pretty much um, one of the main good things is, is that these both these characters are really good the anniversary wise these are amazing units these are the units we've been looking forward to they weren't shafted they're amazing units they are just the arts really good I, I feel like in my opinion a little biased and Sasuke art it looks a little bit more better than the uh, Naruto art but that's just my opinion overall but unit wise it's really good the idea of having a step a banner for anniversary is really good i just have one little problem with it that we'll get into but having it to where you, we get a semi decent amount of free to play pearls we just got 25 for logging in today i'm hoping by the time the end of the anniversary we have enough for at least a couple multis or at least two multis you know but right now it looks like we're not even gonna get enough for one multi because we just got 25 today for doing the celebration I'll put it up on the screen now and I'll put the little thing to vote for down below so you can continue voting and everything like that but units are really good the idea of a step banner to where more people are able to get the character and it's uh, cheaper in the long run in order to pull the character that is really good free to play wise that is amazing uh, shout outs to you Bandai for doing that but now we're gonna go over the bad thing in my opinion that is bad for not the game itself but um, the view of a youtuber I guess you would call it and a hardcore player so most players they don't mind not being hyped up and just being able to get a character off a guarantee now like I said I do have a few examples of this and a few people that do agree with me but um so one of the main examples is Ego and the Edo Minato banner I believe it was the Edo Minato banner but pretty much he was doing the multis on the step up because the step up banner I mean the Edo Minato banner was a step up uh, he was doing the step ups and he didn't get Edo Minato not one time and then when he finally pulled him on the very last multi he was like Oh yay, look who I got. I wonder who it is. There was no hype to that. There was there was like no emotional expression. It was just, oh yay, look what I got. Yeah, I finally get it. Yeah, it was cool that you finally got him, but it was like, you know, it would have been cool. Even if it would took me like 20,000 more multis, I would have been more hyped about getting him on the very last multi when I've completely drained out than just being able to get him like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll definitely get him this run. There's no intensity to that. There's no hype to it. There's no mystery. It's just like, oh here you go it's just there now um me and darkstein were talking about it on twitter as well along with me and ego ego completely agrees with me about the whole hype thing now when it comes to a business perspective the whole step up banner and it being guaranteed is actually better for the company and for a lot of other players and a lot of free to play players cuz you can farm 380 pearls easily i've farmed over 250 so so far just with the not anniversary logins or nothing just raids and stuff that i haven't done before it's physically possible so don't come at me saying it's not so from a business perspective it's a lot better because a lot of people if even if you get shafted all the way to the last multi people will go go through all the multis again i've seen ego do it multiple times on the body hashirama banner 
And that's another problem with the whole step up thing is most of the time the rates are a lot lower than the actual banner. And uh, another thing I did enjoy about this whole step up thing though is that they split the banners into you get Naruto from one banner, you can get Sasuke from the other banner, and they split the Blazing Fest units um, across. It does only show three featured, I believe, but there are all other Blazing Fest units in the actual banner banner because I do believe that um, Kazakari Gar and Utataka are in the Naruto banner. And, um, I don't really remember who else is in the Sasuke banner, but besides, like, Madara and Obito. So, you have to pull on the banner you want. Like, let's say you already have Naruto and you have Sasuke and you have more pearls you want to spend. You can pretty much pick which banner, which, um, they show you which characters are in each one. So, that's a pretty good thing. I like that. That's really cool. That's one thing I wanted it from it. But, like, this whole video is about, like, how hyped up the summon is. Another example uh, is, um, Animated Muscle. He spent 2,000 stones to get SHJ4 Gochita, and he didn't pull him. All 2,000 stones did not pull him. Multiple live streams did not get him. Does the final last video with his last like 200 pearls or so. He pulls him. He flips shit. He goes off. That's the kind of hype I'm talking about. Because yes, I will be butthurt if it was a regular banner with no step ups. And I go spend all my pearls and I do not, and I'm not able to get the new Naruto or the new Sasuke. Yes, I am going to be butthurt. Yes, I'm going to be upset that I spent all those pearls and did not get him. But there's still a possibility I can get them. Like, if I choose to keep going, I could. And when I pull them, it's going to be way more hyped up. And I'm going to feel way better about pulling the character. Other than me sitting here, spending 380 pearls, and guaranteeing myself the character. Yes, that's nice. But I feel like with the anniversary unit, to be such a hyped up unit that I don't like it. Personally, I do not like it. I wish it wasn't a guaranteed. Now, the step-ups are a great idea. Great for the anniversary. You should do the step-ups. Not, not a problem. But just don't guarantee the Sasuke. Don't guarantee the Naruto. That's the, my only problem, is that they're guaranteed. Now, Dokkan, uh, again, for all you guys that are saying that, you know, this is Blazing, not Dokkan or Bleach, I understand that. But, number one, Dokkan does it to where three multis, and you get the fourth one free, so is there still discounted, um... Technically, they're still discounted because you get a free multi every three. So, they could have done something like that. Or they could have done the step-up banners like Bleach does. They do the step-up banners where it decreases. Um, it's a decreased amount of gems or uh, orbs or whatever you use over there. And as you build up, the very last one has the highest rates. And it's uh, the um, total amount you normally would have to spend or something like that. I believe that's how it worked. And But you won't guarantee the cart. You were not guaranteed the new um, Ichigo that was out. And that's what I just wish it was like for the um, for the Naruto Blazing anniversary. Yes, I do agree. Business wise, free to play wise, and actually just getting the character overall wise, it is better to have a guaranteed banner, and it's nicer. You won't have to feel as much despair. But hype wise, being hyped up for the character, being like, yes, I finally got him. Yes, it's not as hyped. It's not. You you all know it's not. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you call me dumb. I don't care what you have to say about me or in my idea. This is my opinion. I just feel like it being guaranteed ruins the hype. Yes, I'm going to get them and I'm going to still be hyped. Yes, you can get them before the final step up and you'll still be hyped. That will be hype. You pull them before the final step up, I'm going to flip shit still. But if I pull them on the final multi, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, I, well, I got them. I mean, yeah, it was whatever. Yay, I got them. Yes. All I'm saying is that if it wasn't guaranteed, I feel like the anniversary banner would be more hyped. Because now the only thing people have to do in order to get these characters, instead of it being luck based like the SHJ4 Go Cheetah, to where even though my example Animated Muscle still ended up pulling them, Animated Muscle could have easily not got that character for another like 3 or 4 months like I did for one tail. But now the only thing people have to do is this, like they take their wallet and you know what, done! I got the character, wow! So hyped up, right? No, it's not. It's it's very boring and very stupid. I just feel like it's not hyped up. And that's what that's why I want to title the video. Does step up banners ruin the hype? Nothing is wrong with the actual step up banner. I just feel like it being a guaranteed step up banner ruins the hype. Now, before I end the video, I just want to say this. I probably wouldn't be this biased if we didn't have what? Three other step up banners before this one that were all guaranteed. I think that's like one of my biggest problems with this whole thing. I don't think I'll be that butthurt if we wouldn't have a guaranteed step up banner for so many weeks in a row. We had Tobirama, we have Minato, we had Body Stage Mode um, Hashirama. 
Then it was a free week. And then it's back to two more step-ups. It's just, why so many step-ups? Why so many guaranteed step-ups? I don't think Blazing Fest should be guaranteed for the new featured unit. Now, yes, I guarantee some of the six stars for that are Blazing Fest throughout the thing. Most of us already have them. It'd be dope for someone to be like, oh yeah, well, I'm really just pulling for the moderator, so I want to pull to this step and stop. I already have the Sasuke. Don't need to do this. But that, I understand, okay? That's completely fine with, but just having it to where the brand new anniversary featured unit is the, like the most hyped up unit we will have probably in the next coming year until the second anniversary or so that he's not going to be as hyped. They're not as hyped up because he's, you know, uh, 380 pearls. I'll get one of them, 300 more. I'll, I'll get two of them. And, you know, look, I have both the anniversary units for... If you, especially if you buy from a pearl seller, if you're like me and farm pearls all day, it doesn't take that much work at all. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like. If you didn't enjoy and you didn't um, agree with my opinion, feel free to leave a dislike. Feel free to roast me in the comment section below. I give two shits. But just remember, if you're doing that, you still stay to the end of the video to hear my opinion. I do want to thank y'all that stuck around for at least even half the video and didn't just click on it and dislike the video. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, and anyway guys, I'll see you the fuck later. Peace.